there, folks. Gorgeous day out there today. It's funny that the weather doesn't affect the grocery business all that much. It's more about the holidays, that and the economy. People trade up for the good meat when they're doing well and trade down when things aren't looking so good. This year, we're doing pretty well. The Oakville store is almost as busy as our two Toronto stores. We're getting a little off topic, though. Yes, we are. We got your fee proposal, and it got me thinking about those sites on the internet, like Wealth Simple. I'm not saying that your fees are too high. They seem fair, but I keep seeing those ads and wondering what you're offering that's different from those sites. Maybe you can lay that out for us so we can see the difference in what we're getting with a real life firm like yours versus an internet offering. We also wanted to start getting some investing ideas from you. We're curious as to whether we should be investing in grocery stocks, given how well we know the business. Not sure if that makes sense or not for us. I know. I'm always thinking about whether we should, for example, open a Fourth Mario's location, say in Richmond Hill, or if we should be saving more of our money and investing in the stock market. It's a bit confusing to figure out. I'll tell you what else is confusing to figure out. MJ, he just asked for another raise. That kid really gets to me. Missy, now you're the one that's off topic. How much we pay MJ has nothing to do with these folks. Well, you won't talk about it at home. Thought these guys uh, will help you see reason. MJ's got Stu wrapped around his finger. Sorry about this, folks. There's nothing to be sorry about, Stu. This does concern our finances. If we pay MJ 50000 more than he's worth, then that's 50000 less than we take home. We don't pay Mario Jr. 50000 more than he's worth. Well, in my opinion, he's the most overpaid store operations manager on the planet. Anyway, moving on. We're interested in your specific stock picks for us. I know we should have our money in the stock market, but we don't know where to start. We don't even know if we're saving enough, like say versus other people with our income to levels. Are we on track or are we going to have to work like Stu's dad did well past retirement age? He pretty much keeled over in the store. My dad loved coming to the store. He would put in one or two shifts behind the meat counter every week. I like the stores too, Stu, but I want to be able to travel a bit when we get older. It's hard being so tied to the stores. When it's a cash business, you really have to know what's going on or else risk some of that cash disappearing. It's not just the cash we have to watch. We've had some pretty nice sirloins go missing over the years. I've always wondered about whether we should be using leverage to invest. You mean taking on debt? All we talk about is paying down debt. I know, it's just that interest rates are so low. Maybe it makes sense for us to increase our leverage and use it to invest in the stock market. I guess it can't hurt to hear about it, but it seems pretty risky to me. Oh, I wanted to tell you that Bet's gone into Humber. She's going into the BCom finance degree program there. She's already met with the Hawks volleyball coach and it looks like she'll make the team. She's so excited. Speaking about sports, Evan's got a game tonight. We're playing the Marlies. They're a tough team. Sorry we got to run. I think we've covered what we wanted to anyway. See you soon.